Have you ever wondered what dinosaurs really sounded like? Or how big they actually were? What they ate? And how they went extinct? In this video, we'll dive into the fascinating world of dinosaurs to uncover these mysteries. Join us as we explore the incredible details about these ancient giants and bring their world back to life. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more amazing content. Let's get started. The Tyrannosaurus rex, one of the largest land carnivores, lived about 68 to 66 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. It grew up to 40 feet long and 12 feet tall, with a massive skull and powerful jaws filled with 12-inch teeth. Despite its small, strong arms, T. rex was a fierce predator, preying on large herbivorous dinosaurs like Triceratops. It walked on two legs and could run up to 25 miles per hour. T. rex fossils, primarily found in North America, reveal its role as a top predator before going extinct 66 million years ago due to a mass extinction event. The Spinosaurus, one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs, lived about 112 to 93 million years ago during the Cretaceous period. It measured up to 59 feet long and was distinctive for its sail-like structure on its back, formed by elongated spinal vertebrae. Unlike most theropods, Spinosaurus had a crocodile-like snout and conical teeth, adapted for catching fish. It likely led a semi-aquatic lifestyle, hunting in rivers and coastal waters. Fossils, primarily found in North Africa, reveal its unique adaptations that made it one of the most intriguing and formidable predators of its time. The Triceratops, a well-known herbivorous dinosaur, lived about 68 to 66 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. It grew up to 30 feet long and 10 feet tall, with a weight of around 12 tons. Triceratops is famous for its three facial horns and large bony frill at the back of its head, which were likely used for defense and display. It had a parrot-like beak and teeth suited for chewing tough plant material. Fossils, primarily found in North America, reveal it was a common herbivore, often depicted in confrontations with predators like the Tyrannosaurus rex. The Pterodactylus, a genus of pterosaurs, lived about 150 to 148 million years ago during the late Jurassic period. With a wingspan of up to 3.5 feet, it was a relatively small flying reptile. It had a long, pointed beak filled with sharp teeth, adapted for catching fish and other small prey. Unlike dinosaurs, Pterodactylus had membranous wings supported by an elongated fourth finger. Fossils, primarily found in Europe, reveal it was one of the first pterosaurs discovered and played a significant role in our understanding of prehistoric flying reptiles. The Velociraptor, a small but agile carnivorous dinosaur, lived about 75 to 71 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. It grew up to 6.8 feet long and 1.6 feet tall at the hip, weighing around 33 pounds. Velociraptor had a long curved claw on each hind foot, used for hunting and gripping prey. 
Covered in feathers, it was more bird-like than often depicted in popular media. Fossils, primarily found in Mongolia, reveal it was a swift predator that likely hunted in packs, preying on small to mid-sized animals. <coughs> The Brachiosaurus, a massive herbivorous dinosaur, lived about 154 to 150 million years ago during the late Jurassic period. It could reach lengths of up to 85 feet and heights of around 40 feet, with a weight of approximately 56 tons. Brachiosaurus had a long neck and forelimbs that were longer than its hind limbs, giving it a giraffe-like stance. This unique body structure allowed it to browse for food high in the treetops. Fossils, primarily found in North America and Africa, reveal it was one of the tallest and largest dinosaurs, known for its impressive size and distinctive body shape. Parasaurolophus, a herbivorous dinosaur, lived about 76 to 73 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. It measured around 30 feet in length and stood about 10 feet tall at the hips, weighing approximately 2 to 3 tons. Parasaurolophus is distinguished by its elaborate cranial crest, which extended backward from its skull and was hollow, possibly used for communication and thermoregulation. It had a toothless beak and specialized teeth for grinding plant material. Fossils, primarily found in North America, reveal it was a social dinosaur that likely lived in herds and inhabited coastal plains. In our world, Many fascinating events occur that you might be unaware of. Join us as we're debating stories and adventures.